Hi, my name is Anna from Little Wake Sleep, and today we are going to talk about choosing a bassinet and all of the things you need to know about it. I know that it can be really overwhelming when you are pregnant and you think, hmm, I really need to get a bassinet, and I'm going to show you some footage of when I was pregnant with our second and checking which bassinet we were going to use. But first, let's go over some really important things when choosing a bassinet. And make sure if you're watching this that you subscribe because there are lots more baby tips that you are going to need on your parenthood journey. So when you're picking a bassinet, the main goal is to make sure that it is flat and safe. The mattresses don't seem comfy and cozy to us because safety is our main concern here. Also, babies are not used to sleeping on this fluffy mattress, so they don't necessarily need that. Yes, they need a nice fitted sheet, and they will need to learn as they get older how to lay on their back and have their shoulders back. That is going to be a foreign concept to them. When you're looking for a bassinet, first we're looking for that safe, flat surface. Then we're looking at the sides. The sides either need to be approved for safety reasons, or if they have slats or um, like pins coming down, like crib rails, then they need to be no more than six centimeters apart for safety reasons in Canada. If they have bumpers or you have fluffy walls, those need to be taken out as it is number one to keep baby safe. When you put your baby in your bassinet, then what's going in with them is a swaddle and a firm Velcro or zip swaddle rather than a traditional uh, blanket swaddle and just their soother. Placing your bassinet, you can place it next to your bed or in your room. It is ideal to keep them in your room for the first six months. That is the AAP recommendation. And then I would encourage you to make sure that you set up a little cart. Have a cart of all the things that you need for baby right near that bassinet. As you'll see in the video I'm about to show you, the wheels on the bassinet was actually one of my favorite features. We used to wheel the bassinet out into the living room and baby was able to nap there to avoid day night confusion. However, when we needed baby to go to sleep at night, then we're able to take her back into our room and it's no problem at all. Bassinets are one of those things that we kind of feel like we're going to spend a lot of money on. However, babies are often only in them for 8, 12, 16 weeks. And some babies will get very frustrated when they have their arms out wide and there's a bassinet stopping them there. So this isn't necessarily a long-term purchase. So you might buy a second hand. If you do, I would encourage you to check the recall system on the internet to make sure that that product has not been recalled. It is really important as baby needs the safest environment possible. Bassinets are a fantastic tool. I know that we loved ours, and I hope that this little video here will show you what I was looking at when we were getting ready for our second baby. So we've set up the cradle, and this was built by Zach's grandfather for him when he was a baby, and we used it with our first baby. Um, and so the things that I am looking for in a bassinet with my baby is to make sure that it's safe. Not so they're far apart, so baby's arm's not going to get stuck in there. Nor are there any buffers or any of the um, foam padding that baby could roll and suffocate on. Most of baby's weight is in its head, so they can unexpectedly roll unintentionally, so it's really important. The other thing is that it's a clear surf, um, sleep surface, and then also a firm mattress. This mattress is nice and firm, so it's really good for a sleep. I like this one because it is on wheels, so it can come next to my bed, or I can move it into the living room. There's a bit of flexibility with it, but I'll be looking to move baby out of this. When Have people in your life been telling you, you'll never sleep again? Are you starting to stress about how life is going to change with a baby or adding an additional baby? I've been there. And mama, it's time to cheers your new best friend, Little Wink Sleep. Our nurturing newborns program gently and gradually lays the foundation for sleep in a way that you're able to manage and understand. We use a science-based approach that fosters healthy attachment. You'll be able to let go of the stress of newborn sleep and enjoy this stage knowing your baby is set up with the right skills. Nurturing Newborn Sleep includes all our insider coaching strategies, taking you step by step, troubleshooting along the way, as well as...